So we are here in Pucon in Chile. E, look at this volcano. It's even active. You can see the smoke coming out the top. So we're going to do a hike to Santuario El Cañi. It's a private sanctuary um, here in Chile. It's one of the only ones that are private. It's got a little nursery of native plants, which is pretty cool if you wanted any of those for your garden. And this one costs 4,000 pesos to enter. You can drive a little bit closer, but we chose to walk the extra half an hour. And there's parking up there, which you can pay for closer to the entrance. But it is still really, really steep. So even if you drive to the parking, it doesn't really help that much. The sanctuary is about 20 minutes from Pucon and we drove out there, but there is a bus that passes as well. And there's a hike that goes all the way to the top to a mirador. You can also hike around some lakes once you get up there. But to get to the actual sanctuary, it is close to two hours of just straight up. It's very steep. And in total, we did about 11 kilometers to get to the top. Literally just straight up. So, yeah, be prepared for that. There is a little refugio here. You can get water here, but once you go past here, you can't touch any of the water because they use the water to drink, and so it's all protected. So make sure you fill up your bottle once you get here. There's a ranger here. I don't know if that's just for the summer, but yeah, he oh had some no. information and any help that we needed. The first part of the track until you get here is all sort of just a four-wheel drive track. So it's through the forest, but it's still really beautiful. And lots of birds and things to see as well. <laughs> and you can fill your bottle with this up. little tap. Otherwise, there's the river just a little bit further south. We were hiking up when it was a little bit cloudy, which was perfect, but it was supposed to be quite a nice day. It is a lot of humidity. It is really heavy bush, so. And we brought lots of snacks. We're going to have a little picnic at the top. Then we arrive to these lakes, so there's a few lakes you can walk around, there's like a loop that you can do once you get to the top, which is pretty cool. This one had like a lot of, I don't know what that is, like some type of weed on it, um, but we sat down and had a little snack. And here's another little lake, this is where the loop track around the lake starts. This one's called Laguna Negra, and we saw this cute little family of ducks. This was super cute, and they just chilled out there. We saw quite a few different kinds of birds. We saw a woodpecker as well, but I couldn't get it on camera. Once you get to the top, uh, it is very steep as well. <laughs> uh, you can see all the volcanoes. You can see them there in the background with some snow on them. It was a little bit cloudy, but still, it was beautiful up there. And we just kind of chilled out. So it's a popular hike, and it's really well signposted, so easy to get there. Like, you're not going to get lost. It's marked all the way on the trail. But it's really, really beautiful. And then we saw the spider and after that we left because no, 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 thank you. Apparently it's called a araña pojito, like a little chicken spider. I'm not sure though if anyone can tell me. We chose to do this hike because the main hike, the San Sebastian hike, was still closed for the snow. But it's a great option and it's super beautiful.